Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss how to find the value of a complex polynomial equation. Here, we are given that x is equals to 1 plus 2 iota. Find the value of x cube plus x square minus x plus 16. In this video, we will discuss few examples that will cover all type of complex polynomial equations. Here in this question, we have x is equals to 1 plus 2 iota and we need to find the value of x cube plus x square minus x plus 16. So see how it can be done. x minus 1 is equals to 2 iota. Then I will square both sides and x minus 1 whole square is equals to 2 iota whole square x minus 1 whole square is x square minus 2x plus 1 and 2 iota whole square is minus 4. I will take minus 4 to the left side and this equation becomes x square minus 2x plus 5 is equals to 0 or we can write this as x square minus 2x is equals to minus 5. I will be using these two values in our polynomial equation and I will get the value of the polynomial. This is the easiest, fastest and quickest way. Another way of doing this is we can put the value of 1 plus 2 iota in the equation, 1 plus 2 iota whole cube, then 1 plus 2 iota whole square, then minus 1 plus 2 iota plus 16. This is one way but this will be very lengthy. So let us discuss this method. In this we need to find the value of x cube plus x square minus x plus 16. So I will try to make this polynomial in the form where I can use x square minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x square minus 2x is equal to minus 5 where I can use either of these equations. So let us see x cube will remain as x cube in place of x square I will write minus 2x square. Why minus 2x square? Because we have x square minus 2x. So if I take x out of this I will be getting minus 2x. Similarly, I want 5x here. So, I will write 5x. But as you know in mathematics, we cannot add or subtract anything by our own. So, we need to balance this. So, minus 2x square I have written. So, in order to balance these, I will write plus 3x square. Because minus 2x square plus 3x square is x square. Similarly, plus 5x is here. I will be writing minus 6x in order to balance these plus 5x minus 6x becomes minus x. Now I have plus 16. If I take x common then here x square minus 2x plus 5 and rest of the polynomial if I take 3 common so this will be 3x square minus 2x plus 16 and in place of x square minus 2x plus 5 I know that this equals to 1 so this whole thing will be 0 and I will be left with this. If in place of x square minus 2x, I write minus 5. This polynomial, this is 0 and this is 3 multiplied by minus 5 because x square minus 2x is minus 5 plus 16. 3 into minus 5 is minus 15 plus 16. So, value of this polynomial is 1. Let us take one more example. So let us start. From this expression, I will take x minus 3 to the left side and 2 iota to the right side. I will square both sides of the equation. So I will get x minus 3 whole square and this side is 2 iota whole square. x minus 3 whole square is x square minus 6x plus 9 and 2 iota whole square is minus 4. I will take minus 4 to the left hand side and this equation becomes x square minus 6x plus 13 is equal to 0 or I can say that x square minus 6x is equals to minus 13. I will be using these two equations in my polynomial. My polynomial is x raised to the power 4 minus 4x cube plus 4x square plus 8x plus 44. So let us start. x raised to the power 4 is x raised to the power 4. Here I will be writing minus 6x cube plus 13x square because in my equation I have x square minus 6x plus 13. I will be taking x square out of this and will be reduced to this form. So I write minus 6x cube here. In order to make it balance I want plus 2x cube. 
Similarly, I write minus 13x square. So, in order to balance, I need minus 9x square. Then plus 8x is there. Plus 44 is there. I will be taking x square out of this. So, this polynomial will be x square. I have x square minus 6x plus 13. And plus 2x cube minus 9x square plus 8x plus 44. This whole is 0. So, I am left with 2x cube minus 9x square plus 8x plus 44. Now, from this 2x cube, I will be taking 2x common. So, it will be reduced to x square. Then, I want minus 6x. So, this expression can be written as 2x cube minus 12x square because I want minus 6. If I take 2x out and here it will be 26x. Now to make it balance, I will be writing plus 3x square and to make balance 26x, I will be writing minus 18x because I want 8x here. Now I will taking 2x common and I am left with x square minus 6x plus 13 and from this, if I take 3 common and from these two values, if I take 3 common, I am left with x square minus 6x plus 44. Now I will be using 0 in place of this and minus 13 in place of this. So this expression is 0. No need to write this. And here I have 3 multiplied by minus 13 plus 44. 3 multiplied by minus 13 is minus 39 plus 44. So, value of this expression is 5. Let us see one more example of complex polynomial equation. In that, we will be using a different approach. This is a very important question. By looking at the question, it can be easily seen that if I square both sides of the equation, I will get x square. So, let us square this. This is 1 plus iota whole square. Square of root 2 is 2. So, this can be written as 1 plus iota whole square is 1 plus 2 iota plus iota square upon 2. And this is 1 plus 2 iota. Iota whole square is minus 1. So, this 1 and minus 1 will go and I will be left with iota only. So, x square is equal to iota. And I will be using this x square because by looking at the question easily it can be seen that this is x raised to the power 8, x raised to the power 6, x raised to the power 4, x raised to the power square, all even powers. So easily I can use this. x raised to the power 8 can be written as x square raised to the power 4. This is x square raised to the power 3. Then I have x square raised to the power 2 plus x square plus 1 and in place of x square I will be writing i. So, this is i raised to the power 4 plus i raised to the power 3 plus i raised to the power 2 plus i plus 1 and I know that iota raised to the power 4 is 1, iota cube is minus iota and iota square is minus 1 and I have iota plus 1. Now, this 1 and 1 will go minus iota and plus iota will go and I will be left with 1. This is how it is to be done. Let us see one more example. This is question number 4. In this we have x is equals to 1 plus 2 iota. And we need to find the value of x cube plus 7x square minus x plus 16. Let us see how it is to be done. This is x minus 1 whole square is equals to 2 iota whole square. And x minus 1 whole square is x square minus 2x plus 1 and this is minus 4. So, x square minus 2x plus 5 is equals to 0 or I can say that x square minus 2x is equals to minus 5. So, let us reduce our equation so that I can easily use this value. So, x cube can be written as x cube only. Here I want minus 2x square. Here I want plus 5x. Now, in order to balance this, I will be writing plus 9x square minus 6x plus 16. Now, let us take x outside. This is x square minus 2x plus 5 and I have 9x square minus 6x 
plus 16. This whole is 0, so I am left with 9x square minus 6x plus 16. So let us try to reduce this also. If I take 9 common, I have x square minus, I want x square minus, if I take 9 common, I want x square minus 2x. So in order to balance these two, I will be writing plus 12x here, plus 16. Let us see whether it is balanced or not. This is 9x square, this is minus 18 plus 12, that is minus 6x six six plus 16. Yes, it is balanced. In place of x square minus 2x, I will be writing minus 5. So, this is 9 multiplied by minus 5. Now, I have 12x plus 16. This is minus 45 plus 12x plus 16. In place of x, I will be writing the original value, 1 plus 2 iota. So, this is minus 45 plus 12 in place of x, 1 plus 2 iota plus 16. So, minus 45 plus 16, plus 12, plus 24 iota. Minus 45, 16 plus 12 is 28. 28 minus 45, this is minus 17, plus 24 iota. This is the answer. It is not necessary that every answer will be a real number. We may get imaginary solution also. So, it depends from question to question how we need to approach that question. That's all in this video. If you like it, Please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, you can write in comment box. Thank you for watching.